Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So we are literally a week away from the start of the 6th anniversary on JP, and today I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little speculation or discussion about what we think the 6th anniversary dual Dokkan Fest banners are going to look like. Now before we get into it, I do want to put a quick disclaimer out there, and that is we are proceeding through this video under the assumption that the 6th anniversary LRs are going to be LR uh, Ultra Instinct Goku, more specifically Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, and LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Now while it's very likely going to be those two, it's not 100% confirmed yet. Like we don't have anything official from Bandai or Akatsuki themselves, so if it ends up being something different like MUI and Hit or MUI and uh, I don't know, another Jiren or something like that, then you can just throw this video right out the window and pretend you never watched it, all right? I mean, I'm not really that concerned about it because I do think it's going to be MUI and SSBE, but just in case I'm wrong, I want to put that out there, okay? So uh, yeah, with all that said, let's get into the predictions. Now, when it comes to these kinds of videos, some people like to use... Uh, their gut feelings, their instincts, which is fine, but we're going to be using a much more scientific, a much more analytical method, and by that I mean we are going to be using the formula that was set in place by the 5th anniversary banners from last year, okay? So uh, let's start here with the Gogeta banner, and we can just pretend that this is Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku on the banner instead of Gogeta. And moving down to the featured units here, there are most likely going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 featured SSRs, 9 Dokkan Fest exclusives, and 1 non Dokkan Fest exclusive. Okay, so obviously Gogeta here will be replaced by LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. And then there's also going to be a new non Dokkan Fest side unit. And for the Goku banner, I'm predicting it's going to be a tournament of power themed full power Master Roshi. All right. Now, in my opinion, Master Roshi is a unit that, or a character rather, that has not received nearly enough love, you know, for what he deserves in Dokkan. Like, he was such a big part of the franchise, such a big part of the series. I mean, you could argue that if there was no Master Roshi, there would be no Goku, or at least not the same Goku we have today. So, yeah, I think Master Roshi definitely deserves a really, really good unit. And while we've had a few other Roshis in the game up to this point, none of them really stand out that much, you know? So I hope that with the UI Goku, we get a really, really busted, mastered, or sorry, uh, full power Master Roshi as the side character, okay? So, so far we have UI Goku, Master Roshi, and of course this cell here is most likely going to be replaced by one of the worldwide celebration units from last year. And I'm going to say for the Goku banner, it's going to be Fizz LR Bootanks instead of the Vegito. And there's actually a reason that I say that, okay? Now, the Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, for most people, is going to be considered the more hype unit over the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, right? So the banner itself is automatically going to be considered more hype for that reason. So to balance things out, they're going to put the Fizz Bootanks here and then the Super Vegito on the Vegeta banner to, you know, make things a little bit more even because I think for most people, the STR Goku and Vegeta that fuses into uh, Super Vegito is more hype than the Bootanks, right? So, yeah, that's why I think that's going to be Bootanks here instead of Vegito. Now, moving on from there, we have two units from an older Dual Dokkan Fest. And if you guys remember, the Broly and Gogeta were actually the 2019 New Year's Dual Dokkan Fest, right? So I think that for this year, it's going to be the 2020 New Year's Dual Tokan Fest, which was the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta that transformed into Majin Vegeta, and the Int Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku that transformed into Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Okay, so those two, the Goku and Vegeta, will take the place of Broly and Gogeta. And then instead of the Fizz, um, Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Gogeta from 3 year, it's going to be AGL. LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku from the 4th anniversary and to replace Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta unfortunately I do think that it's going to be Int 
Ultra Instinct Goku here. Now, of course, he fits the theme. That's why I think he has to be on the banner. But at this point, he is very, very old and just not that good anymore. I mean, one day, one day, Int UI Goku will get an Extreme Z Awakening and probably be amazing. But right now, he's just not that exciting. But of course, it is UI Goku, so he has to be on this banner, right? And then for the remaining three SSRs, I'm going to say two of them will be Tournament of Power themed just to fit the theme of the banner or the celebration. So I'm going to say Fizz 17 and probably Int Angel Golden Frieza. And then for this final unit, I almost don't want to say it. I'm scared to say it because I'm scared it's going to come true. Um, and I really hope I'm wrong here. Okay, just to be clear, I really, really hope I'm wrong. But I just have a feeling, man, that they're going to include the AGL transforming Goku on the Goku banner. Which of course means that the Fizz transforming Vegeta is going to be on the Vegeta banner. Once again, I really hope I'm wrong. You know, like, I hope they surprise us and put like, I don't know, AGL Bardock or something, right? Like, that would be amazing. But I just think that they're going to try to balance out this banner a little bit. Like, overall, the banner's value is insane, right? So they might be thinking... You know, to tone it down just a little bit, let's include a few older units that we know people aren't that excited for, but they're still going to summon on the banner anyways. So yeah, while it would suck, I do think that the AGL transforming Goku will be here. And to recap, the LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku banner, in my opinion, will include, of course, LR MUI Goku, a new full power Master Roshi, um, Fizz LR Boo Tanks, Tech, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, Int, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, uh, AGL, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Int, Ultra Instinct Goku, Fizz, Super 17, or sorry, uh, Fizz, MVP 17, Int, Angel Golden Frieza, and AGL, Transforming Goku. Now moving on to the Vegeta banner, and of course it's Vegeta here, but just pretend it's Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta on the cover here. Um, you guys can probably predict, based on what I said for the Goku banner, what this banner is going to look like. Okay, so we have SSB Vegeta here. And for the side unit, I think it's going to be a new Kaba. Okay, hear me out. Kaba has not had a new unit in a very, very long time. In fact, there's only been one summonable Kaba in this game, and that was the support str1 from the str banner right so kaba obviously had a big role in the tournament of power his relationship with uh, vegeta like the master and disciple relationship was pretty prominently featured so i think he would make perfect sense for the vegeta banner here so i'm predicting a kaba let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that but uh, i think kaba is definitely deserving of this honor and of course in place of agl gohan I'm calling for STR Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Super Vegito from the Worldwide Celebration. And then for this particular Dual Dokkan Fest, instead of Zamasu and Trunks, it's going to be the Dual Dokkan Fest from, I believe, April of last year. The transforming uh, Int Gotenks into Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and the Tech Exchange Boo that goes to Super Boo. Now, if you look at the release date for these two units compared to the Boo and the Gotenks, I believe it was very close to each other, just, you know, the Boo and Gotenks came out a year later. So if we're going by the formula, then those two would definitely make sense here. And then this Super Boo is most likely going to be replaced by um, the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that goes to Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And then Int Vegito is going to be replaced by LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta from the 4th Anniversary. And then two of these SSRs will be Tournament of Power themed, so I'm going to go with STR Jiren and Tech Hit. Actually, you know what? Hit would make a lot more sense on the Goku banner, so let's swap him for Fizz 17. So we'll put Hit on the Goku banner and then put Fizz 17 on the Vegeta banner, okay? And then finally, for this last unit here, like I said, I really, really hope it doesn't happen, but I'm calling for the Fizz transforming Vegeta just because it is the Vegeta banner. And don't get me wrong guys, the transforming Goku and Vegeta, the AGL and Fizz ones, are not bad units, okay? In fact, they're still solid units that can, you know, get you through the Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball history, you know, a lot of different events in this game. They're still solid. It's just that 
they've been featured like a million times each that at this point anybody who's been playing this game for at least a year or two years are just tired of seeing their faces over and over again on banners right so um, I really hope they're not featured just for that reason like they would be good for newer players but for long-term players we just don't need any more copies of that Goku and that Vegeta so to recap my prediction for the Goku banner or sorry the Vegeta banner is of course LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, a new summonable Kaba, STR LR Goku and Vegeta, Int Gotenks, Tech Exchange Boo, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, STR LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, STR Jiren, who else did I say? Oh, MVP 17, and also the Fizz Transforming Vegeta. And that is going to be my prediction for the LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta banner, and that also concludes my overall predictions for the 6th anniversary to World Token Fest banners. A quick reminder, I did replace the uh, MVP 17 on the Goku banner for the tech hit. Of course, I want to hear your opinions in the comments down below about what you think of these predictions. Okay, some people might say that these banners are not good enough or something like that, which I understand because obviously there are a few units that are not terribly exciting to most people but with that said i do feel pretty good about my predictions because i think they're going to try and purposely keep the value of the sixth anniversary banners a little bit under control like don't get me wrong i think they're going to be very good banners still it's just that you know we still have the worldwide celebration for this year happening in august right so they need to hold on to some of the other hype units like super saiyan 4 gogeta uh, tech gohan Fizz, uh, Angel Golden Frieza, LR Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, AGL Bardock, and so on and so forth. I think they still need to hold on to those units to be featured on the Worldwide Celebration banners so that people have more of an incentive to uh, summon there as well. Okay, but of course, I could be completely wrong about my predictions. I could only have like you know, one unit correct on both sides, which would be the new LRs, right? So don't necessarily take my word for it. This is meant to be a discussion. It's meant to be for fun. So if you guys have some other ideas, if you think that I'm really, really wrong on this prediction, then let me know in the comments down below. And who do you think will be featured on the UI Goku banner and the uh, SSB Vegeta banner, okay? And uh, that's it guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, there's gonna be more leaks and more information about the sixth anniversary as we get closer to the 29th and 30th. So definitely stay tuned for that. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big, red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out